G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to my channel. We're at Sydney International Airport. Today we're going to fly Fiji Airways A350 in business class from here to Nandi. Now without further ado, let's go check in with Fiji. At Sydney Airport Terminal 1, you'll find Fiji Airways check-in at ILK. Fiji Airways operates up to three daily flights from here to Nandi. The 6am service is almost always a Boeing 737 MAX 8. We're catching the 2pm service. That's almost always the A350. The A350 business class is always flatbed, providing you a more comfortable ride to Fiji. We just checked in and dropped our bags. The lady at the check-in counter was really professional. She let us know that we could use the fast track security lane, and after security we could use the Qantas International Business Lounge, which we're heading right now. A lot of check-in agents these days don't bother telling you where the lounge is, and they don't inform you if you could use the fast track lane, so that was really much appreciated. Fiji Airways is the only One Walk Connect member. At Sydney Airport, if you're flying with them in business, you could use the Qantas Business Lounge. If you're a One Watt Sapphire or Emerald member flying on Fiji Airways economy, lounge access is only granted if you purchase a coach share flight with your airline. For example, a Qantas Platinum member could only use the lounge if he purchased the Fiji Airways flight through Qantas. The Qantas lounge isn't too busy this time of the day. It's getting quieter and quieter as time goes by. Qantas flights to Singapore, Tokyo Haneda and Auckland are departing, so people are gradually leaving the lounge. The Qantas business lounge is quite big. It offers two identical buffet area. For hot food today, they're offering Thai chicken curry and pasta bake. The curry doesn't come with a good presentation. It low-key looks like vomit. The combination of vegetables doesn't help, but it's actually quite tasty. It looks even worse when you open the lid at a buffet. And here's the baked pasta, by the way. Here in the Qantas lounge, they also offer a great variety of cold food, like salad and fruit, Alcohol is self-served. You've got a selection of beers in the fridge, and this is Australian sparkling. The Qantas International Business Lounge is located downstairs of the first lounge. We can't really see the tarmac here, but if you're upstairs in the first class section, you can see the tarmac. Before long, it's time to head to our gate number 61 for our flight to Fiji. It's about a seven minute walk from the Qantas Lounge and security. Here's the aircraft that'll bring us to Nandi. A four-year-old Fiji Airways Airbus A350-900 Delta Quebec Foxtrot Alpha India. This aircraft was originally manufactured for Hong Kong Airlines, but due to financial difficulties way before COVID, they didn't take the order. Fiji Airways took the order in November 2019. Hello, good, thank you yourself. Thank you, very well, thank you. Lovely. Mr. Wong. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Wong. Cheers, no have a good one. Come through, sir. Hello, 20k. Welcome on board. My seat today is 20k, the last row of this cabin. There's a wall behind me, so it gives me a bit more privacy. Ready for you on this short flight to Fiji is a pillow, a blanket, headphones, menu card, and a bottle of Fiji water. Lunch will be served after takeoff. You'll receive a starter. A choice of main, you're given three options, and a choice of dessert, two options. Business class is completely full today. I'll now go through the seat features with you guys. So right next to you, you've got a reading light, it's adjustable. And then behind that, you'll find reading materials. If you've got smaller items like toiletry bag, passport, mobile phone, and pen, It'll fit in those compartments here. You'll also find two USB ports, a universal power socket, and headphone jack. For larger items, I'm afraid for takeoff and landing, it'll have to be in the overlocker bins. There's a large touchscreen TV. It's quite far from you, so if you don't want to reach out, you can use the TV remote inside your compartment. Tray table is tucked away underneath the TV. It's quite large. During the meal service, you can push it forward and have direct IO access to the lavatory. On the aisle side, Underneath your armrest, you'll find a bottle of water and headphones. The overall sense of space is really good. Privacy is as good as it can be without a door. For those who aren't really familiar with the seat, there's a handbook, 
that gives you all the information about your seat. For welcome drink, we've got champagne, water and juice. I went for a glass of champagne today. It's the beginning of a five-week trip. First, I'm going to Fiji and then Japan, Korea, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand and South Africa. So I felt like celebrating. There's Wi-Fi on this plane, I just connected to it to check out the prices. So texting is free for 15 minutes, afterwards you have to pay. It's 15 US dollars for the whole flight. When I saw this beautiful Fijian smile, I knew we were up for something good. Our in-flight manager just gave us the Fijian arrival card and also an access code for free internet access throughout the whole flight. It's a scratch card, you'll need a coin. Luckily I got plenty in my backpack. Now let's check out the TV content. The system is easy to use. You've got a good variety of TV shows and movies. There's also a good number of Chinese, Korean and Japanese movies. There are two external cameras on board this A350, you can check out the views outside. There's also an in-flight map, it's interactive. Flight time today is about 3 hours. The cabin crew just took my meal order. I just reclined my seat for the meal service. Approximately 40 minutes after takeoff, we got our drinks and a bowl of savoury snacks. I went for a sparkling water. I quite enjoyed the bowl of savoury snacks. It's better than just nuts. We then waited another half an hour to receive our lunch. That's one hour and 10 minutes after takeoff. Unfortunately today, they ran out of the vegetarian option. A lot of people in front of me have chosen that. So I went for the linguine beef bolognese. Your starter, which is a garden salad, bread and butter as well as your main come together. Dessert will follow after. Here's the salad, nothing too excited about it. The pasta on the other hand is really really good. It's a tasty, delicious, lovely little home cooked meal. 
I just finished the sparkling water and the cabin crew immediately gave me a new glass. We waited a while for the cocktail service and lunch to begin, but we didn't wait that long at all for the dessert. Sadly they ran out of options again, I wanted a fruit platter but they didn't have any. The dude at 19k who happened to be 6 foot 4 tall took the last one. So I went for the tiger chai latte and turmeric ice cream. Not a bad alternative, it was refreshing. So now the meal service has ended, we've got about an hour and a half until we land. That gives us about an hour to sleep because of the pre-landing check. So I'm gonna put my seat into bed mode. Although there's no door, the privacy is quite good. You can't see anyone's face and no one can see your face either. You can pull up the armrest to create a small barrier between yourself and the aisle. The only small complaint I have against the seat is the placement of the TV and table. I can't have my legs up when I try to sleep. Uh, winds of around uh, 7 km an hour, and warm temperature of uh, 28 degrees Celsius. And we should be landing here at around uh, 6.57 local time. Time is coming up by 6.22pm, 6.22pm. We trust the service and on behalf of the crew, we thank you for choosing to fly the PGOs and we wish you a pleasant evening. Another one. Hello, welcome on board Fiji A350 Business Lavatory. Right behind the cockpit, we've got hand wash and body lotion down there. Also, hand sanitizer coat hook. Space wise pretty good, very comfy. You've got purple mood lighting there reflecting the Fiji Airways branding. Very decent lavatory. We've started our descent into Nandi Airport. I'll quickly conclude this trip report right here right now. Our journey today started at Sydney Airport. The check-in agent was really friendly and professional. She let us know all the business class facilities that we could use before our flight, including priority boarding, fast track security and airport lounge. It's been a really long time since I've had such professional service. The Qantas Sydney International Business Lounge is okay, the curry they were serving today was good. Once on board, a friendly welcome from our cabin crew. They were also friendly and professional throughout the flight. Service was a bit slow initially but that was due to a very full flight. I enjoyed the hot towel service before takeoff and before landing. You don't often get one before landing. The food we got today was good, although the salad was uninspiring. And most importantly, I had a really good afternoon nap. Now for your information, I paid about $1,400 for this business class trip from Sydney to Narita via Nandi. The stop over in Nandi is 3 days. And for what I got today, I think it was great value. Thanks for watching today, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment and share. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. I upload a new report every single week so you don't want to miss out. And definitely you don't want to miss out my flight to Narita. After landing and disembarking, I'll show you a short little Fiji vlog. See you later, bye bye.
aircraft, please check your seat pockets and all the air lockers and personal belongings. Do take extra care when opening open storages. Some of these items may have moved during the flight. We hope that you've enjoyed your flight with us this evening and we look forward to seeing you again when next you fly. On behalf of Captain Gideon Lewinikila and the entire crew, have a pleasant evening and thank you for flying Fiji Airways in the Gucci Empire of Qantas. And now we'll leave once again welcome to our home. And for our guests connecting uh, to Los Angeles after disembarking, please proceed to the address transfer desk for new seat assignment and security clearance. We will be able to see you on in our country. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be in Fiji for three days before we fly to Japan. We'll be staying at the Hilton on Danarao Island. We each got a welcome drink at check-in and also a free necklace. Hola, welcome to Hilton in Fiji. We got double upgraded to this deluxe one bedroom beachfront room? Villa? Whatever. Not villa because we haven't got our private pool, but it's so nice. Oh my god. We got a welcome cake. Looks delish. This is the living room and the kitchenette with a microwave, coffee machine, tea, cooking stove, and a fridge. Wow. It's my second time in this resort and we got a much better room this time. I could do my video editing there, perfect. Now let's move on to the um, bedroom. We're only halfway through the whole place. Look at this cute little towel. I can't tell what creature this is. Maybe a duck. Luggage rack ready for me, lovely. Bathroom, massive. A bit old, but still lovely. I like how they give us flowers. Nice touch. They're everywhere in the room. Bathtub is quite deep as well. And then you've got the shower, walk-in shower. It's not rain shower, unfortunately. And then the toilet on the other side. So we're here for two nights and then we're flying to Tokyo on Tuesday. It's Sunday today. I wish we were here longer of this upgraded room so here's the view you can't see much right now but yeah balcony with barbecue welcome to day two originally we were hoping to go to cloud nine a bar in the middle of the ocean or maybe join an island tour the weather right now is perfect for it but it's gonna rain heaps later So we just got back to the room, had a shower, uh, made myself a cup of tea, did some video editing. I'm just exporting it now into a file so I can upload it onto YouTube. It's Asiana 747. So by the time you, uh, you're watching this, 
Fiji Airways Street Report. It's already on YouTube, so do check it out. Six foot four, doing some work outside. Biting his finger. We're really lucky that we went to the pool in the morning because the weather isn't the greatest right now, it's raining. We just went out to a nearby shopping center for dinner. It's now day three, we're gonna have breakfast, pack up and then leave. Fiji Airways has its own check-in counter at the Hilton Resort. Check-in is free, but you have to pay a small amount for bag drop. For the two of us, we didn't need this service, but perhaps if you're a big family, you might save money and energy by checking in here. Thanks for watching once again, hope you enjoyed, and a big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me supporters for your continuous support. See you next week, bye.